So let's talk for a second about rattlesnake bites. It's a bit of a race of against the clock here. Come on out, bud. Oh. Hi, this is Brian with Rattlesnake Solutions. Uh, I just talked to Marissa and she said you have a visitor in your yard. Yeah, he actually just went through our side yard. He's in the front, now at our neighbor's house. Okay, is he is he moving around a lot? Is it just one of them? Just one. Okay. Do they uh, travel in packs? No, they don't. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Sometimes we'll see another one. Um, it says I'm about 22 minutes away, so just keep an eye on this as much as you can. And as soon as I get there, I guess I'll see you in the front. So we'll see if they watch it. Sometimes people do, sometimes people don't. It's a bit of a race of against the clock here. Uh, not only to make sure that nobody kills the snake, but also to make sure that we have an opportunity to actually catch it and do our job. So I just barely got back from a pretty intense four day trip looking for snakes uh, in different parts of the state. Just barely took a shower and lay down in bed. When it comes to this job, uh, the universe universe is always gonna have a different plan for how I'm gonna spend my afternoon. So. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hey everybody, I'm headed to a call in Cave Creek. I'm actually here right now, but um, we got a rattlesnake in the garage, so let's go get this. Hello, how you doing? remodeling my kitchen okay so I was trying to figure out an electrical problem all right and when I first came out it was over in the corner there yep but I poked it with the pool thing to see if it was alive yeah it's underneath that cabinet where the knee pads are okay so let's talk for a second about rattlesnake bites uh, if you're in Arizona there is a post floating around right now about a young woman who was unfortunately bitten by a rattlesnake on accident when she was hiking in the Superstition Wilderness. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks like it was a pure accident. She was bitten on the ankle. She's in the hospital. She's going to be okay. So as this information spreads around, there's a lot of obviously interesting, interesting comments and uh, reactions that people are going to have to that. Some of them are useful. Some of them are informed, but a lot of them are not. So as much as we talk about rattlesnakes, being something that is not the danger that most people associate it to be. It's not something that you need to be completely fearful of or stay indoors all the time. There are accidents that happen. People are bitten and sent to the hospital. It's not something that happens tremendously often. There's maybe two or 300 bites a year in the Arizona uh, area and no deaths, right? So it's something to pay attention to for sure. But if you put that up against car accidents or horse accidents or all kinds of other different injuries, it doesn't really stack up as something that you should be majorly concerned with to the point where you will stop hiking or stop going outside or just be so fearful that you want to move. We do talk to a lot of people like that. The other type of reaction is also an emotional one. And it, it's people that try not to come off this way, but it is one of pure emotion. And this is, it's mostly men that, um, that now are using a single instance like this where this person was bitten by accident. They did everything right and there was still a bite and they went to the hospital. But using this as a justification to see, I told you, you need to kill every rattlesnake you see and that's what I'm gonna do. It's kind of silly and in a lot of ways it's, it's, it's a lot more silly than the other reactions. It's okay to be scared of them. It's okay to be scared of rattlesnakes. It's real fear and one of the things that I am bothered with a lot are, are when biologists or people that work on my side of things um, discount that fear as if it's something you can just get over. You can't. It takes a long time to get over a phobia. But there's also reactions that are just plain not healthy. And when people react that way and take something that can be taken with a grain of salt or with information uh, or taken in a, in a healthy way to digest that fear or those concerns and take it over the top to something that's most likely going to injure them or injure other people and certainly not help the situation. It's the same thing. It's just emotions. So if you're that guy, you can be mad at me if you want, but we see what you're doing. It's okay. Anyway, yeah, bite happened. I'm going to see if I can reach out and offer to answer any questions they might have. 
but I also wouldn't be surprised at all if the last person that she ever wants to hear from is the guy that's associated with rattlesnakes. <laughs> so. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's a gopher snake. I'm sorry? Uh, it's a gopher snake. Oh, what's that? Uh, just a non-venomous snake. Oh. Yeah, I didn't hear a rattle or anything, but it kind of looked like a rattlesnake. Come on out, bud. Hello. Ouch. <laughs> it's pretty big. Yeah. This here. Don't you knock that shovel over. You gotta grab onto everything, don't you? So you're pretty fearless going back there. <laughs> <laughs> I do like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I take my chances if they're gonna be angry or not. <laughs> Usually they're pretty chill. But I have been bit. Just by non venomous yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to figure out an electrical wire in my kitchen. Was your garage open or? No, no, no. I had this part open for most of the day. Oh, so. okay. That's maybe how yeah. he snuck in then. Yeah. Okay. I mean, at least it's at least it's just a gopher snake. I guess okay. that's better better than nothing. But yeah, be careful when you got your garage right. open like this. Yes. All right, we got this big gopher snake here. I thought it was a rattlesnake in his garage. Put him right here. Right there, head right down, head right down, there. Right down there. Right down there. <laughs> See you, bud. Looking for more stuff. So I guess it didn't find whatever it's looking for in your in your yard. Well, I probably scared it with the blower. Okay. okay, was that was it coiled up or what was it doing initially? Um, when I came upon it, he was like right here, and then he coiled and started rattling at me. Okay, you want me to take a, can I take a look at where? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I saw he was. Right he was coiled up. Right here. Well, I think only because I came up oh, really? pretty quickly. All right, so now time to find a spot to put this snake. And doing so in the springtime is a little bit easier than it is during the winter. So if you remember all those relocations we did during the winter time, we had to go out and actually find places that would be a, an acceptable winter den for them. Um, those are special spots. They're special um, because they can keep the snake warm enough, keep it hydrated. For one reason or another, there's just not a whole lot of them relatively, but in the spring, temperatures are mild. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Snakes are already moving, and we have a lot more flexibility with the types of situations that we can release them into. So what we're looking for is a spot that this snake can escape into, and hopefully stay there, avoid predation, avoid wandering into a road, all that kind of stuff, and then kind of figure out where to live. So. In this area, once again, that means finding a pack rat nest. And I was right, there's a pack rat nest right there. There's our male western diamondback. And I'm gonna put him right into there. And what I'm hoping he'll do is go down there and go, oh wow, this is so much better than, uh oh, sorry bud, that drainage I was hiding in or whatever behind those homes. Now I can be out here away from people. Okay, that's what we wanted. Now, see his rattle broke off. It happens. One of the main reasons that you can't tell the age of a rattlesnake from counting the rings on its, or the buttons on its tail. So anyway, Western Dimeback released. Good to go. I'm gonna go get my stuff and get ready for the next call because I really doubt that that is gonna be the last one of the day.